Hey, my name Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Raw Daily. Before we get started, everybody say hi to Larson over there at the news desk. Hey, hi. Come, wake up, man. Come on, what are you doing over there? Falling asleep on me already. Oh, my goodness gracious. What, what do you think of my shirt? Us? It's purple. It is purple. It's a purple shirt, man. Where are all your contrasting patterns? <laughs> what, this? Man, I'm, I'm stepping up my game. You should be too. Where's your tie? I haven't worn a tie this whole time. I've been doing this show. All right, Larson, let's get started with the news. Today we got some... Uh, this is actually turning more of a story about warring dirt sheets than actual wrestling news. Yeah. So late yesterday, the Dirty Sheets reported that both Rusev and Lana, featured here on my Titan Tron, yeah, uh, what, what? They, they've asked for their release from WWE because they're unhappy with their creative. Yeah, the site reported that Rusev had, quote, a major altercation with creative about the way both he and his wife are being booked. It's been said that the discussion got fairly heated at one point between Rusev and the writers before... Oh, you didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? Brian James, Road Dog, who is also head of SmackDown Creative, according to Dirty Sheets, calmed things down. He said, Road Dog, I am not happy with my creative. Oh, you didn't know? Well, if you're not happy, your ass better call somebody! Like one of those writers over there. I can't say the A word anymore, can I? I don't think so. Darn uh, Anyways, WrestleZone then reached out to their sources, and they were told, quote, There is no truth to the report issued earlier today via the Dirty Sheets podcast. And then Dave Meltzer uh, commented on Rusev's nine-second loss to Randy Orton at SummerSlam, saying, quote, We're told that his nine-second loss to Randy Orton was just their way of kicking off a program between the two, this wasn't so much the anti-Rusev decision it came off as, but a major pro-Orton decision that the program is to continue. A, I really like this if it is, in fact, a Rusev-Orton program. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Absolutely. Uh, and B, dirty sheets? Uh. Uh, Lana uh, seemed to comment on all this yeah. on Twitter, um, saying, quote, that's called Don't Believe the Pathetic Villagers That Pretend That They Are Journalists wow. With Real Facts. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Rusev uh, also kind of uh, slyly and somewhat hilariously commented on it uh, on Twitter saying, Thank you, Road Dog, for stepping in between. I would have been in trouble. I mean, I almost got whole eggs instead of egg whites. Wow. So he's throwing some... Uh, so I'm... <sighs> I don't know. My, my thing is, like, the SummerSlam loss did seem like Rusev was on his way out. They haven't been released. Well, we had heard rumors that he was unhappy, and we interpreted that loss as either A, he was out the door, or B, he was being punished for voicing his uh, his, his disappointment. Yeah, All right. Um, but it seems, uh, assuming this uh, Dirty Sheets uh, report is indeed false, mm -hmm. that's not the case. Yeah, it's all much ado about nothing. I mean, look, I'll be, we, we talked about this earlier on one of our shows. Where would they go? GFW, New Japan. None of those places are going to offer them the platform that the WWE does. Obviously. Across a range of media. Rusev was in that WWE Studios film with Dolph Ziggler. True. Where when Dolph, Dolph Ziggler... played, not himself, but Rusev played himself. <laughs> but he had a gun. So not himself we either. still need to check that out. Yeah, it's so confusing. I mean, and Lana, she's all over uh, the Total Divas, right? Correct. Like, this gives them a huge... And on top of that, they don't even really book Rusev that poorly. I mean... He's... he's, he's pretty much in the position now of jobber to the stars. Not the worst spot. And on top of that, they were going to go with him. If the rumor is true. They were going to go with him for Money in the Bank, title picture with uh, what AJ Styles, I think. Well, first it like was, that. initially, from what I understand, he was set to face Orton, Orton at, that's right. yeah, 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 yeah. at Money in the Bank for the title. Yeah. And then when they went with uh, Mahal as champion instead, mm -hmm. um, I believe at first he was going to be in the Money in the Bank match as one of the contenders to win it. Yeah. Um, until apparently Road Dog says, no, I want Baron Corbin. Oh, you didn't know? To win. So. Yeah. I still, WWE is like the best, I, I honestly think, like just as an outside observer, seemingly is the best place for them. I mean, they treat, they, they do, they treat Rusev like, kind of like a star. Like you say jobber to the stars, which yeah. But still, to the stars, yeah. seen as like a star. Well, he's the star. Well, I meant A, as in quality, A+. Plus. Oh, okay. They're a guy. Yeah. Not just a star. I could see how that was He should have said the A star. The A star. <laughs> Thank you. That's what you should have said. <laughs> seen as, yeah, seen as a star, idiot. 
Anyways, that's it for today. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.